Alrighty. Let me get my hood back on again. Oh, as you can see, the bees are hanging way out of this hive. It was almost, it was 96 degrees today, according to my truck. Uh, heat index was over 100. So, uh, that's part of the reason why they're hanging out. But I want to check on them real quick to uh, make sure they got plenty of room. If they don't, we're going to give them some room. We're in the uh, last part of July here in North Carolina. And uh, we don't have a whole lot going on as far as honey flows. And from the looks of it, these have got plenty of room with the bee numbers the way they are. They're not looking too good. These are some old frames. If you see this stuff on them. Some of my original frames, I probably need to throw them away, but it's hard to toss equipment when you got decent stuff on them. A little bit of nectar, very, very little nectar on that. Same thing on that side. Like I said, I need to feed these bees. I keep saying that on every video, but I hadn't done it yet. We got uh, nectar on that frame. So that's a good sign. This should have nectar and pollen on it. And it don't have either. A little bit of brood, as you can see right there. All that white stuff's brood. And then there's some eggs and larvae down there too. Let's see if I can zoom it in. Here we go. Wrong way. I don't know if y'all gonna be able to see it because it's backlit, but you can see the larvae and stuff there. So there we go. Let me zoom y'all back out. So that's a good sign. I think part of the reason why is I must have checkerboarded this thing last time I was in it. So we're gonna move this back out, get the bees closer to the brood. Got plenty of brood on this frame. We got eggs and larvae on it. I'm trying to see if I see my queen. But the sun's going behind the, the thunderstorm that's coming up. So these bees have got plenty of room for now. That's all worker brood, and then it kind of fades over into eggs and larvae. Like I said, you probably can't see it because of the light, but. The main thing I'm doing right now is making sure we've got a queen and making sure they've got plenty of room. Cause I had that hive swarm on me the other day. They wanted to open lift me. There's pollen on this frame here. That's all pollen right there. So, and then there's worker brood. So, this hive's doing good. I'm gonna pull one more frame out. See if we can find our queen. If we can't, we're gonna button her up. Because it's fixing the rain. Now let me show you something here too. Those cells right there, that's all drone uh, drone cells where your drone bees come from. We'll see if we can transition over here. That's worker brood and worker cells, as you can see. There's that's all worker brood there. Those are about ready to be capped. 
And then as you transition on down to the bottom of the frame, see how the cells get bigger? Those are all drone cells there. So they either have drone eggs in them or uh, they use them for pollen and uh, honey stores. Let's do one more. Just see if we can find our queen. Cause I know some of y'all like to play find the queen. I'm betting she's not gonna be on this frame because there's really nowhere for her to lay. And I might have skipped over a while ago because we're kind of getting on the outside frames over here. Come on, babies, move. As you can see, that ain't nothing but worker brood there. I might end up sliding all these frames over and kind of centering the brood back up in the hive. There she is. She's on this frame right here. See if y'all can find her. You ready? I lost her. There she is. Just went around to the other side. She's in the corner right there. She's playing hide in the corner game. I'll, uh, I'll screenshot her and show her to you. Now, like I always tell y'all, when you got a queen on the corner of your frames, always make sure you find her before you put her back in the hive. That way you're sure you don't mash her. Because I have rolled queens like that before. And that is not a good thing. And she's hiding. She's doing a good job, I hadn't. I had a subscriber ask me the other day, I reckon he was a subscriber, if uh, he thought he was inspecting his hive and he thought his queen had flew off, if that would happen or not, yes. When I show you the queens that close up and get them away from the hive, I take a risk for them flying off or falling on the ground, which I don't think she did. There's a few bees on the ground, but I don't think she's one of them. But, uh, yes, the queen can fly when you're doing an inspection. It's not normal, but it can happen. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this frame, hive back together. Smoke these bees a little bit. When your bees get to staring at you a whole lot on top of the frames, that means they they need a little bit of smoke to get them off the top of the frames. So what I did was just slid these over by one, so I can uh, slide that brood over a little bit more toward the center of the hive. So there we go. That hive's good to go. We'll do a closing on it. All right, so there's our closing. You could almost see the thunderstorm behind me. People keep asking, soybeans, that's what that is. Uh, we can't, we uh, leased this land out to a farmer and he planted soybeans out here this year. And as you can tell, it's a pretty good field. It goes all the way around the property. So there that is, me rambling at the end of the video again. Uh, those bees are good. They got room. The queen's doing good. Uh, 
all that good stuff. We've seen eggs, larvae, and we've even seen our queen. Like I said, I'll try to screenshot her so y'all can see her if y'all didn't find her or whatever. But I uh, hope y'all doing good. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, I want to tell Mr. Ed, congratulations. He hit 100,000 subscribers yesterday, which was Sunday. So congratulations, Mr. Ed. Uh, 628 Dirt Rooster is not far behind him. I was texting uh, Mr. Ed yesterday, uh, back and forth. And when I texted him to start with, he said he was 28 away. And within about an hour or so, he hit his 100K. So if you're not a subscriber to him, check him out. Mr. Ed, uh, his channel name's Jeff Horchoff. And uh, if you're not subscribed to him, go check him out. He's down in Louisiana. Uh, he's got a cool channel, cool setup, all that good stuff. So hope y'all doing good. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments below. And as always, we'll see y'all on the next one.